Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 on mobile. With Chapter 2 coming out on mobile devices, by the time you're watching this video, it should be tomorrow, I thought we'd go back, celebrate a bit, and play through the first chapter on mobile. Couple things right off the bat, number one, apologies for the audio delay with the game, I literally cannot find any way to fix it. Secondly, sorry for the weird cropping, as you can see there's just a random poppy image here. Otherwise it would look like this with some strange black bars now let's hop into poppy playtime on phone I've not played it on phone so I don't know how this is going to go if the mechanics are gonna be super weird if the movements gonna be super weird chapter one a tight squeeze as an ex-employee of playtime co you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within has disappeared and as we can see our friend Mr. Tight Squeeze, as I like to call him, instead of his actual name of Huggy Wuggy. Anyways, let's watch this VHS tape. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Really? Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. Gorsh. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard Big. to believe... That's huge! Just watch. You know, it doesn't actually show Poppy a conversation Ray between them, Ray. which is a weird Poppy's thing, because he just said real watch. Girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. This isn't really a conversation. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of no. course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect! Thank you. No Her problem, hair Poppy. Is dirty and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Don't know Poppy? How you did I'm that, a but real cool. girl. Just like you. Hear that, guys? What's the time? I'm a real girl. Time! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 cool. a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. Okay. Here, I'm coming. What's the time? Playtime. Did they do that already? I, I forget. Honestly, I tuned it out because I already know. They're trying to make her all cute and lovable. She's going to kill me eventually. Not in this chapter. Not even in chapter two. Maybe in chapter three, though. Did you guys see that teaser trailer for Chapter 3? Looks pretty exciting. Everyone thinks that the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Thank you for the message. I'm on my way. So, of course, because it is on phone, I'm going to be looking down at my phone. So, sorry for the weird face cam angle. And this... <laughs> this is it. As you can see, this is Chapter 1. Again, there's going to be a bit of a delay. I apologize. But, wow, this is... I mean, this is on phone, I'll tell you that. Let's collect this tape, let's play it. Give it a bit of a watch. Whoa, hello, Box. How are Hi, you doing? My name is Leif Pierre, and oh. I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing is this- that Huggy's hand? Then you're trespassing. Sorry. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, <laughs> just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, right. we also pride ourselves on <clears throat> our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, oh. once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. Wonderful. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. <laughs> so, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. Well, I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. You can't actually turn around because the doors are locked. They're all boarded up. In fact, I don't even know how I got in here. Anyways, let's go figure out this puzzle. I believe... Yes. All right. So we need a code color, and I think we get that from the train. I just don't remember the actual order of the colors. It is, in fact, green, pink, yellow, red, I think. Let's hope so. Green, pink, yellow, red. Let's go type it in. Green, pink, yellow, red. It worked. There we go. We're in. Now we can go get the grab pack. After we play this tape. The grab pack. I will say, watching this now, after playing through chapter two a whole lot, because I freaking love chapter two, 
having no narrator on the voices is so lame. <laughs> I'm glad they added the narrators. All right, grab pack has been acquired. There we go, nice. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's go now into the actual main building. Jump over this or not. I'll crouch under it, I guess. Boom. Open up. Nice. Oh, loading in progress. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, bud. High five. Nice. Nice. All right, well, let's go kill the power. <laughs> okay, no lights actually went out. Interesting. I guess it is only a mobile port. Whatever, though. Let's go turn it back on. Get the electricity. There we go. Loop it around. That pole. And also this one. We did it. Oh, no. He's gone. Where did he go? Damn. Anyways. Deeper into the factory we go. It's so weird. I've not played Chapter 1 in, honestly, a long time. Ooh, make a friend. Ooh. Is that sign new? I feel like I, I've never seen that sign. Whoa. Hello. You're not gonna get me this time, Steam. Here we go. Into a brand new room. Uh, we do need to find a tape. And I think it's out this way. I remember in my first playthrough, I didn't get all the tapes. But now that I know where most of them are, I think, I wanna see if I can get them. So let's hop down. I think it's out somewhere around here on the shelves. If only I could see. Thought I was out this way. I can't find it actually. So, yikes. Oh, I guess I found it at some point. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when Bank left it up. in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Damn. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. Jesus. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand, but uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes. Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't it's, think I've heard this one. <laughs> it's for the orphans. My gosh. I just wish there were less This boxes. guy is so mean to the Anything orphans. And Moist Critical's life. Alright, well, I guess I got the tape. And I do think during my time searching, I got the rest of the boxes. Yes, I did. There we go. So now we can get the red hand. We can move on. And I think there was another puzzle in the vent that we're going to have to do. Give me my red hand. Oh god, wait, don't drop it on me. There we go. Nice. Blue and red hand. Kabloom. And also, kabloom. Nice. Open sesame. Here we go. Into the vents. And yep, there's a- Whoa, why'd I get hurt? What the heck? So there's a puzzle here, and I think I kind of forget how to do it, if I'm being honest. I think you go up here, get this, and then go down. Maybe we're gonna find out. No. I did it that time. Open sesame. There we go. And this one, we just get to sit around and wait, because it pushes us along. A bit laggy, oh my god. I will say, this isn't very optimized for a mobile port, but it is what it is. Thank you for throwing trash on me. I appreciate it. Thanks. And now we're in this room. With the terrifying dudes who don't actually have eyeballs for some reason. Okay, all right, let's head up this way, and I do believe there should be a tape along this walkway. Uh, oh no, it's just on the floor. I guess they moved it. And I think this is the tape that has 
What's her name? Stacy? Stella? I don't know. We'll find out. Here we go. Tell me your secrets. So, Stella, what Stella. made you want to work at Not the Playtime Stacey. Co. Factory? I'm an idiot. Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from What's my bedroom image? floor to anywhere that? in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere right. that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Yep. Sometimes though, I yeah, really just don't become a toy yourself. Really I could go back to being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Yeah, but your usually body that's how aging older works. And older, and then you die. Morbid. Oof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young you forever. You seem so ecstatic about it. There's you get old and old and old, and then you die. Some trees Oof, that can and stay that's alive, it. even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those so I guess everyone is always young relative to something right suppose so all right I think we're getting a little off track <laughs> okay just let her keep talking man she's having fun about it all right now we have to do this puzzle which I remember took me a long time to actually do and I still don't really know how to do it all the way out here yes I think this is how you're supposed to do it uh, no. Oh god, I have fallen. I have fallen. Ow, my legs. Wait, this is it, isn't it? Yes! There we go! Whee! Ow, my legs. Oh god, my legs. Now we can pull these. Maybe not. Uh, oh, I pushed the button, don't I? Where is it? Here it is. Button. Push the button. There we go. No? Maybe no? Uh, oh, there we go. Now they're alive. Now we can pull the levers. Very nice. And send these on their merry way to become a cat bee thing, creature, animal, toy, whatever it's supposed to be. I forgot you follow me. That's terrifying. Nice. Look at it go. Into the terrifying tubes you go. I wish you didn't follow me with your eyes. That's just creepy, man. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't that be also crushing the tube that they're in? I don't know, man. I'm not gonna put logic into Poppy Playtime. Scanning. Hey, my friend! I'm gonna sacrifice you. But come here, though. Come here. Got him. I didn't mean to kick that box. Here we go. Nobody leaves without a toy. And here comes the sequence. Jesus. He still has a lot of detail for a mobile port. Oh my god. Alright, well, into the vent sequence we go. Which is gonna be awful on mobile. But I'm gonna try my my best. He's gonna show up. There he is, my lad. I still don't really know how to crouch. So far, I've just been walking up to the doors, but we're doing good so far. Go down. Oh god, he's still coming. He's still coming. Slide. Let's go. Hurry up. Was I supposed to go this way? Oh shoot, I think so. Uh, this way? No, not that way. Definitely not that way. He is right behind me. I need to go down here. Good, good. Um, shoot, this way. I'm stuck on a wall. Okay. Oh, let me through, let me through. I know you open up. I know you open up. God damn. God damn. God damn it. Oh my god, he's still there. He's still coming, he's still coming. Alright, box. Box. Pull the box. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Hey, to be fair, he did chase me first. Anyways, I think there's one last tape, and then we open up Poppy's case, and then we're done for chapter one. Here it is. 
And where is the television? Here it is. Very nice. Last one for the day. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. Well, the prototype. That. Coordination the hand cooperation from is evidently two. within his skill set. As well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. This is terrifying. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. Okay. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Yeah. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... For science! Yeah, so that is the prototype. Who we thought was Huggy, but now we know. Definitely not Huggy. Someone much more vicious. Terrifying. I did not recognize these guys were hanging here. That's legitimately creepy. Okay, here we go. Poppy dearie, I'm here. Don't worry. That was a lot weirder than I wanted it to be. I didn't... Hello! I'm here. Into the door. Ta-da! I opened your case. You opened my case. I can still see you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Poppyplaytime.com. Yeah, baby. So that was chapter one, a tight squeeze on mobile. It is a game that was ported to mobile. Obviously it wasn't optimized very well. The textures are really bad. The lighting is very bad. I'll keep it, <laughs> keep it a stack. It works. I mean, it's a mobile port of a PC game, so it's gonna not be the best. And God dang, it was definitely not the best. The controls are kind of annoying. Uh, I can't imagine what they're gonna be like in chapter two, but I don't have to worry about that for at least another day. But frankly, that's gonna do it for this video. Stay tuned for chapter two releasing on mobile. Uh, tomorrow again by the time you're seeing this hopefully I'll have a video up on the same day Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side